four grocery stores, one haul, no drama, hashtag winning. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole. If you are new, thanks so much for stopping by. Today I have a weekly grocery haul for y'all. So we did go to four stores. We went to Whole Foods. I did a Walmart run in no pickup if you watched last week's video we actually did a target pickup as well which i highly recommend i've been doing the target pickup even just here recently i did a little quick one highly recommend now that they have the grocery options you can pick up cold stuff as well at least in my area and of course we have an imperfect foods delivery with a hot discount down below that i will mention in a minute so let me take it down to the counter and show you what we got this week at all four stores First stop, Whole Foods for some killer prime deals. So this total was 65 bucks, but I got $15.50 back with using Ibotta. I have a link in the description box. If you don't have any clue what Ibotta is, you can go and check that out. I think it gets you $10 off, and I think I have a video about Ibotta down in the description box as well. So check that out because it is killer. So what did we get? So we got the Alvardo Street Bakery Freshly Sprouted Sourdough Bread. My girl in with Jen here on YouTube recommended this bread to me. And and I'm looking for a bread option that is like zero fat, low calorie for my carb up days. And when I start cutting, I'm going to be incorporating some bread a little bit too. Probably not this one, but the Little Big Bread by Silver Hills. It's on sale at Whole Foods, by the way. They were out. It is really good macros, and I can still incorporate that um, with doing low carb on those days when I'm starting my cut, which will be at the end of May. So the ingredients on this are sprouted organic whole wheat berries, wheat gluten, so it isn't gluten-free, filtered water, honey, cultured wheat starch, sea salt, yeast, sunflower, lectin. Really good. One stabilizer, that's it. Like I said, not gluten-free, but I'm looking for something a little bit more. So for one slice, it is 80 calories, zero fat, and six protein. I am here for this. So this is in the frozen section. I'm gonna give that a try to make anabolic French toast on my carb up days, excited for that. Also got some shaved Brussels sprouts throughout the week when I'm just doing regular keto. And I loved how these are shaved already. Just saute them up in some avocado oil, some with some bacon, whatever, really good. The Yete stuff is on sale all this week, guys. So check it out and check I bought it because there were some killer rebates. They expired today, so I'm hoping they renew them. The almond flour grain-free tortillas, these are awesome. I do like the Whole Foods brand better, but they were on sale and cheaper than the Whole Foods win. Y'all know that's the only reason why I buy these is when they're cheaper than the Whole Foods wins. The Whole Foods wins are a little bit a little bit less than carbs. So this is 20 total carbs, three dietary fiber for two tortillas. The Whole Foods brand is less. I think it's like seven net carbs or tortilla. So it's it's pretty good in my opinion. And love these so, so much on carb up days. You can incorporate them in your keto days, guys, if you want, if you allot it in your macros. Remember, keto is a metabolic state. It is not a food. Got some organic peaches. I love the organic peaches from Whole Foods. You want to get organic peaches when possible and they don't sell them at Walmart, so that's why I pick them up and I was completely out. Love this Siete taco seasoning. If you watch the carb up videos, you know, but this is not something just for carb up videos, guys. It is two net carbs for two teaspoons and if you can use this for your taco meat and all for your, your week, Taco Tuesdays, it is the cleanest of the clean ingredients. Those other ones like Old El Paso and all that, guys, they are way carby and they have really cruddy ingredients in them. So you wanna switch over to something like this. These were on sale plus there was a 75 cent off of each one i bought a rebate so it made them like a buck it's like ridiculous the price on those i've been waiting y'all know i've been waiting to stock up on siete because i never pay full price for any of this stuff guys because i know at whole foods there is a revolving door when they put this stuff on sale and that's when I stock up. Don't pay full price. Speaking of, thank y'all so much for letting me know that the Ibotta app had a $2 rebate for each of the base cultures while they're still on sale until May 4th. So it made these like $6 and some change each ridiculous. The original almond butter and the cinnamon, cinnamon almond butter are definitely keto friendly. The maple almond butter is five net carbs for two tablespoons, but it does have maple syrup in it. So it's more paleo. Got the Siete red enchilada sauce this stuff is fire and i've been waiting this stuff has been taking forever they put these siete certain things on sale not as much as like the chips and all this red enchilada sauce is so good so it's 35 calories for a fourth of a cup one gram of fat 
four net carbs and one gram of protein, but y'all look at these ingredients in there. There is no other enchilada sauce that is this clean and crazy. It is so, so good. So I stocked up on that. There was a dollar, I think, back. I bought a rebate for each one, limit two, so I got my limit. This is a new item by Siete, and so many of you guys have been blowing up my DMs on Instagram saying, girl, you need to try these, you need to try these. Now, these are more paleo and better for your carb up days. Not so much keto because it's 14 net carbs for six cookies for sure. But I got these for my carb up days and I've heard that this Mexican wedding flavor is the best out of the three flavors that they sell. So I'm super excited to try these. Look at the ingredients, y'all. If you're looking for a good cookie for your kids, that's super duper clean. If you don't want to consume these, if you're keto, this might be a good option. And they were hella cheap right now with that sale going on. These are my two favorite Siete tortilla chip flavors. I can only find these two flavors actually at a Whole Foods. They don't sell them at Thrive or anywhere else. The Chipotle and the Jalapeno Lime are so, so good. Again, this is not necessarily keto because it is 19 total carbs, three fiber for a serving. But if you're doing healthier swaps, guys, I know a lot of you guys watch me are not keto. You're just looking for healthier options. These are healthier options in your pantry and fridge. Yes, if y'all watched last week's video, I did get the extra $3 back again for these. Like that is crazy. It came back on the app for Ibotta. So these are 90 cents each and I got $6 back. Like that is crazy. So I am so stoked with this week's haul at Whole Foods and I'm just mind blown at the prices. Whole Foods doesn't have to be whole paycheck, y'all, if you do it the smart way. And I try to showcase that here on the videos. And if you follow me on Instagram at Whole Food Wasted, I'm constantly putting deals and giving you guys a heads Target up. Target online drive up. So I did do the pickup with Target, y'all. And I've never had any issues with Target's pickup. Like as you were pulling up there, walking out, amazing. Just like Sam's Club, highly recommend. So what did we get for $35? There were some cartwheel deals. So if you're not familiar, when you download the Target app, App. There is target own like discounts you can apply to your account, even like manufacturer coupons that apply to things. When you add them to your cart, when you go to checkout, they deduct the discount, which is awesome. So a couple of things I did use the target cart wheel for. So I told you guys I was going to get the Silver Hill Sprouted Power Little Big Bread. This is on sale at Whole Foods for a little bit cheaper. It's $3.99 at Target, which is cheaper than Whole Foods full price. Whole Foods is $3.14. So if you can get it there and you have a Whole Foods, get it. What I like about this one guys is this is great bread for your kids i have used it on the boys before and they did like it they just got burnt out so the macros are for two slices it's 110 calories one gram of fat 19 total carbs but five fiber only one added sugar and seven grams of protein and the ingredients are fire however it is not gluten-free so i know a lot of y'all are going to ask about that it is not gluten-free it does have wheat in it i bought this for my carb up days to make anabolic french toast like i mentioned with the other one and i have another bread i want to try so i want to try a few breads to see which one i like and see which ones the macros is best and when i'm doing my cutting i may even incorporate this while i'm cutting since it's like zero fat low macros, all that good stuff. And I'm looking for some different options and switching things up, guys. Always switch it up. These core bars were on sale with the Target cartwheel for 50% off. Now they had a chocolate peanut butter, but they were out of stock. So I was able to snag three of the blueberry banana almond one. This is oats, nuts, and uh, probiotics. This is in the refrigerated section. So it looked pretty good as far as the ingredients go. Gluten-free whole grain oats, almonds, dates, prebiotic starch, fiber, inulin, which Thomas Allauer just made a whole video about that. So I'm not worried. Banana is coconut oil, blueberries, water, chia seeds, natural flavors. I don't mind that. Sea salt. And then we've got our added probiotic things there. So we've got the macros right there. Obviously this is not keto friendly, but I got this for my carb up days. I thought this might be good. And even for the boys to have a better option. I know they love blueberries. So I was happy to get that for half the price. Those were so cheap. Got the Gatorade Zero. This is the Glacier Cherry, I think for Waylon with him playing baseball right now. It is so hot here. So I got these for him. These are aren't ideal guys y'all know because I think they have sucralose in them I'm consuming sucralose here and there right now in moderation right and as long as you're not drinking like 10 of these a day I think it's okay especially when he's active as he is as most of you guys know I'm obsessed with community coffee and I've been obsessed with just the American classic and believe it or not this one's pretty hard to find they have like the breakfast blend I'm not a fan of that one I love this one and I'm down to my last three K cups I love blending it and my protein powder by equip I have a discount down below guys always with equip if you're interested in a beef not a whey protein powder that's super duper clean and macros are on point I've just been loving a regular cake 
K-Cup. I know who is she. I was always about the vanilla and I still like the vanilla K-Cups and stuff, but I've just been really loving a regular one. And there was like a 25 or a 30% cartwheel for this. So it made 24 cups, 10 bucks. That was a killer deal for that. In my opinion, happy to see that. Y'all know each week I've been buying the boys the two good yogurt and we are down to two cups since the last time we got wasted on it. I know they are flying through it. Trey brings it to school and they get home, they eat it. And on the weekends they eat it. So they're going through a lot of yogurt. And if I can pump this in them with 12 grams of protein, I am doing it with like zero added sugars. That is a win in this mom's book. So they sell the four packs at Target. I wish they did at Walmart. So I got the four pack of the blueberry and the four pack of the mixed berry for them. We're going to get some more at Walmart too. So that was my $35 little drive up Target haul. We've got Walmart and Imperfect Foods left. $91 in store Walmart haul. I am getting $8 back for the Chobani for Ibotta. Check that rebate. It said it only has like five days left. So by the time you're watching, it might be like the last day or it might have already passed. But check it. That's a killer deal. And one struggle though with going in store I forgot my list at home. However, I'm happy to report I got everything on the list. Like how often does that happen? So what did we get from Walmart? Our usual Osiri snacking rounds. These are the cranberry orange ones. These are the ones that are Trey has loving so much. They have a blueberry and an apple one too, but he likes this one the best. Got myself some raspberries and these raspberries look so delicious, like so bomb. Like, I, oh man, I am here for that. Loving raspberries so much. They are a great berry to choose if you are keto, diabetic, wanting something with low sugar and good for you as well. Bananas, we got, somebody mentioned on the last grocery haul or something, they're like, bananas aren't keto. Girl, I'm aware, I'm aware. Are you listening when I talk on the grocery hauls? First off, keto is a metabolic state. Anything that you consume can be keto or low carb, but I digress. These are for Waylon and these are for myself on my carb up days. And we wanna eat clean, healthy, whole foods carbs and we love bananas, they are good for you. Shredded iceberg lettuce is for our taco salads. I'm gonna be making them this week with some steak. Excited, because last week we loved them. Now, the boys were with me when going in store, and this is what Waylon, like, yeah, like out of all the junk in the grocery store, these are the things he asked me for. Like, I think we're doing good. Two uh, green apples and three navel oranges he requested. So, of course, I'm gonna pick up any Whole Foods fruits for him. Got some of the white American cheese by Land Lakes in the deli section. Um, it is cheaper at Whole Foods, like I mentioned every week, but we uh, couldn't find it at Whole Foods. They've been out like all the time. So I got that for Trey's Keto Queso. I did get some more honey. Can you believe I'm already out of honey? I'm flying through it on my carb up days and you want to get local honey when possible, raw and unfiltered. It doesn't have to be organic. And this one is totally local to us. This is actually um, in Youngsville, Louisiana. So it's super close. The last one I got was in Louisiana too. And it's so delicious guys. You want to get local. Don't get that bare processed crap. This one's so, so good. So, and it was $10. So cheaper than Whole Foods than the one that I got last time that was local. Like I mentioned earlier, I got five was the limit for the Chobani non-fat plain Greek yogurt. This one is a little smidgen better than the Faye as far as the ingredients having an extra probiotic. However, it is not as thick and creamy as the Faye, I will say. But the macros on it are on point if you're looking for a, a fat-free yogurt and it's good for you. So I stocked up on these. Doesn't expire until almost June 1st. So that'll be great when I start doing my cut here as well. I always make our keto tea or no sugar tea, which is just one of one or two of these tea bags steeped. And then I add a quarter of a cup of Lakanto monk fruit sweetener and then add the rest of water. The boys absolutely love that. That is a great way to have some flavored tea that's sugar-free for yourself or for your kids if you are low carb or keto. Something that is great for keto as well as far as a cheese option is goat cheese. It's really high in MCTs naturally, which we want on keto, live in a ketogenic lifestyle. And I just love it. I just think it's creamy, tangy, and love the taste of it and know it's super good. I will tell you that one ounce of these crumbles is a lot. So you're not even gonna use a whole serving of this most times. So the macros are great. Got the boys some more too good yogurt. We got some at Target as well, but I picked up the cherry. They really like that one and just two of the strawberry. They're always out of stock at Walmart. Everybody loves these and they can't carry enough of them. They really need to carry the big packs like Target at Walmart. Got the boys some extra creamy dairy whipped topping. They don't sell the sugar-free one at my Walmart anymore. However, I would rather get this one anyway because it um, it's, it's still not the best, guys, honestly. But they have it once a week on top of their pancakes or their waffles on the weekends. They don't have that every day on the weekdays. I didn't need any more broccoli florets. I love the frozen ones that are a dollar at Walmart, but they're out of stock of this a lot, and we probably go through three or four bags a week, no lie. So I picked up two just to put in the freezer because we use it. 
Something else I thought was pretty convenient that I saw was the sweet potatoes. These are just the chunked dice ones. And actually today is a carb up day and I had to prep some real ones, which is fine. But these are just sweet potatoes and just one cup is 90 calories, zero fat, 22 total carbs and two proteins. So this is great for your higher carb days if you are high carb or low carb. And sweet potatoes are phenomenal healthy wise for you. So I got that just to have for some quick fill-ins for my carb updates. I did get another small crock pot. This is the two quart round one. I make Trey's Keto Queso in this, but I've also been making a lot of our recipes in this because I've been having recipes for me and the hubs because we don't want a ton of leftovers for the weekend and ways to not go through them. So this has been pretty good. So I got one of these, it was just $10. Wellness flying through tissues with allergy season here. Him and I both are flying through these. So I just picked up a box until we get to Sam's Club. And speaking of Sam's Club, yes, they're already went through the flushable wipes that I bought last time I bought like two of these little packs and um, let's just say a boys poop like crazy. So they flew through it. I bought another pack until our Sam's um, run in for the month. So that is everything we got for like 90 bucks and I already got my $8 back from Ibotta. So check Ibotta down below guys. I have a $10 off if you are new to Ibotta for the first time with your redemption. It is free and all you do is get cash back. So it is winning. Last but certainly not least, we got our Imperfect Foods order. This is a pretty big win. They had a lot of new stuff that I want to take advantage of. Perfect Foods doesn't always have the same thing every week. So when you see something you really like or you purchase outside of Imperfect Foods and it's a good price, you want to stock up on it and I always have a link down below guys right now you can get $52 off your first order with that specific link that they sent they said it's like some new earth thing coming up 52 bucks you can get a lot of stuff for $52 with imperfect so take advantage of that if you are new to imperfect foods got some green onions for a recipe this week they look awesome Roma tomatoes I got for the hubby to slice up for Taco Tuesday and for some other meals for him. Cilantro for Taco Tuesday tonight. We got some organic sugar plum grape tomatoes. Great price for those. I did get some bread there. I mentioned I was going to get some bread from Imperfect and this one looks promising. So this is sprouted as well. The brand is Angel Angelique, Angelique Bakehouse 7 Green Bread Bread. So it is for one slice, 60 calories, half a gram of fat. 12 total carbs, three fiber, and four protein. The ingredients look pretty awesome. Yes, it's not gluten-free, but if you're eating something that is wheat, you wanna do sprouted like I mentioned earlier. The only thing that bothers me in there is the agave syrup and the natural flavoring, but I think it's gonna be totally fine for a carb up day or somewhere where I need to get a little bit extra carbs for bread source. Got that to go in the freezer and try it on the boys too. It looks pretty clean. Four of our staple blackberries we've been getting with Imperfect. I got some organic strawberries because the guy on the side of the road hasn't been there. I don't know what's going on, but these look really pretty. So happy with that. Also got some organic blueberries and they look huge. Like look how big that one is. That one looks delicious. Four lemons. Now their lemons are such a killer price and usually they're small and scrawny. These are like massive lemons, y'all. Like I was shocked to see those because usually, like I said, they're super tiny. They don't always have uh, baby bell mushrooms and they did. So I snagged just one eight ounce when I have some leftover from Sam's. I got butter wasted because they haven't had the Vital Farms pasture raised butter in a long time. And I really like this butter. It is so cheap on Imperfect. It's like half the price on Imperfect than it is from Whole Foods. So I got six of those. I'm not going to be consuming butter on the cut, but I need that for the boys because I've been making them like a keto treat every single week and I need butter for that. And Waylon uses it too on his toast with his bacon, banana, and yogurt combo he's obsessed with. We got some Organic Valley sour cream. Also got some cheese options. I've bought this before from Imperfect and love it, but we only have a couple of slices, the baby Swiss cheese and also the Tillamook medium cheddar farm style thick cut. Got that for the hubs. He loves that. Stocked up on this for the low carb cut coming up May 17th. This is the Diesel Organic Oven Roasted Turkey Breast, sugar free. The ingredients on this are so good for a deli meat, guys. Deli meats are, have hidden ingredients. They're really crappy. You gotta make sure that you're looking at it. Organic turkey breast, 2% less of water sea salt and rosemary that is it macros on point five, uh, 0.5 grams of fat 13 protein 
and we've got zero carb and 60 calories. That's what I'm talking about. So I got four of those and I'll probably get wasted next week too and just put these in the freezer because I'll be flying through it. I will also be flying through chicken breast when doing the cut and I love the Cook's Venture pasture raised kind. Y'all know this is like my jam. They don't always have this either. So I got four packages of that to put in the freezer. I hauled the turkey bacon last week. I'm gonna save that for the cut and the boys love just bacon in general and this is the cleanest of the clean bacon. So I don't mind giving this to them and them consuming that and save the turkey bacon for me because it seems like good clean turkey bacon is really hard to find and they're sold out of that ones that I bought last week. Go figure. So I got some to stock up for the boys because we have zero and they eat this every single week. Something else new that we got is the Farmers, all ingredients from Farmers We Know brand. One Degree Organic Foods is the real brand. I've heard this is a pretty good brand and some things as far as oats and all. It's not super like 100% approved here because we've got the sunflower oil, I think, in there. But it's organic, so I mean, we could do worse, right? I wish it was Expeller Press. It is what it is. We've got cane sugar in here. But this is a cleaner option than then honey bunches of oats or honey uh, nut Cheerios. And I was gonna try it on the boys. I might even sprinkle it on some yogurt for a carb up day. Speaking of the brown rice cacao crisp, uh, this looks really good. The carbs are a little bit lower on this and this is actually a little bit less ingredients too. So this would be good sprinkled in some Greek yogurt for a carb up day for myself too. So I got that for myself and for the kids to try for a cleaner cereal option. Speaking of the kids, Trey has to have his pirate's booty and I've been buying the big bags over at Imperfect and he is out, so I got two of those. Also got him a white cheddar popcorn at Boom Chicka Pop, he loves that. And the hubby is obsessed with the sweet and salty kettle corn one, so I got a bag of popcorn for him as well. So we got plenty of snacks, plenty of meats, stocking up on stuff for the cut, plenty of veggie, a new bread to try, Try Imperfect Foods, y'all. I have not been disappointed with them. They always come through and their customer service is great. If something is not to your satisfaction, give it a try. $52 off your first order. I mean, what do you so have? That to is this week's grocery haul. Please give it a huge thumbs up if you look forward to these grocery hauls every single week on my channel. And if you are new, I would love to have you a part of the family. So make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and make sure that little bell is clicked so you do not miss a future upload from me. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all let me know if you are still having issues with your pickups, whether that be at Walmart, Sam's Club, Target, wherever, Kroger, whatever grocery store you have by you and if you've decided just to go in the store especially since things are starting to look a little bit brighter in some areas anyway you just got to make sure you mask up sanitize social distance and do what you got to do get in get out get those groceries and get home and save yourself some drama and some headache definitely was a better week this week thanks to all that watched last week's video and for the love and support we had a lot of hate on that video y'all don't like when the girl complains I know and I don't complain often right but I keep it 100% transparent and real here and if something makes me mad and something I think that you guys need to know about it we're gonna share it so thank you again for watching last week's video thank you for watching today's video y'all have an awesome week and an awesome day and we'll see y'all next week should be the the monthly haul it wasn't this week I had that totally wrong last week next week will be the monthly haul we'll get to Sam's Club again and I can't wait to see you there bye y'all